On this episode of Inside Scotiabank Arena, we're showing you the amazing drinks our building has to offer. You often think of beer when you think of arena drinks, but we actually have so many incredible beverage options to choose from here at Scotiabank Arena. From the premium cocktails in our clubs to the wide variety of quick service cocktails and beer on the concourse to choose from, not to mention having a list of over 500 wines from around the world, there's truly something here for everyone's tastes. Today we're giving you a sneak peek at how the drinks operate in our building and we'll even be making a few, so let's get started. I'm here with Michael Fagan, Senior Manager of Food and Beverage for Quick Service here in the building. Michael, I guess my first question for you is, what is the main difference between a premium cocktail and a quick service cocktail on the concourse? Uh, during one of our events, it gets pretty hectic out here on the concourse, so we need to make sure that our cocktails can be made in five steps or less. Now, so we've got some real classics that you get in the clubs as well, but we've also got some really fun team-themed cocktails, like the Jurassic Juice is really popular during Raptors, we've got the Lord Stanley's Mug during Leafs, mm -hmm. but hands down our most popular cocktail cocktail is the signature Scotiabank Arena Caesar. Ooh, that sounds really good. I mean, we sell all of those cocktails at our concerts, but we have a lot of fun with our concerts. We come up with a one-night-only series where we come up with cocktails inspired by the artists, the amazing artists that come through our venue. Now, I feel like I've learned a lot about the quick service cocktails on the concourse, but now we really, we can't forget beer. So can we, can we head over there? Can we learn more about that? Absolutely, we can. Is it safe to assume that beer is the most purchased drink out of the building? Oh, absolutely. Our fans <laughs> love nothing more than coming down to the Scotiabank Arena for a cold pint or a can of beer. And what are the types of beer that are offered? We've got a ton. So we've got lagers, pilsners, ales, IPAs, wheat beers. We even have some really nice seasonal offerings like winter ale. We even have a coconut porter. Wow, so we have basically everything you can think of. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, how much beer do we go through per game? So on a Leafs game, we'll just sell about 14,000 beers, which is quite a lot. Well, I think a lot of people don't know that we actually have a brewery on the concourse and that's what we're standing in front of right now. Michael, tell us a little bit about it and what it's mainly used for. Yeah, so this is a working brewery inside the arena. Uh, Molson Coors, our great partner, uses it for their research and development. So every new beer they create comes through this brewery. See, this is also quite mind-blowing to me because people just walk by this on the concourse and don't even realize that it's here, but it's here! I'm here with Nick Kajoglu, Manager of Beverages here at Scotiabank Arena, and we're hanging out in Scotia Club right now. Nick, tell us about some of the beverages that are coming out of our premium club. So we have a gin and tonic made with fresh lemon thyme, a barrel-aged Manhattan. Uh, we also have a espresso martini made with Averno Amaro and our Moscow Mule, which is made with uh, fresh basil syrup and pineapple vodka. So these cocktails are available in all of our premium clubs, is that correct? Yes, in all the clubs. Each club has its own list curated to its theme. You go down to Platinum Club and get a blueberry uh, Hennessy Old Fashioned, come back up here and grab our Maui Mule. Now I've always been a fan of the presentation of the cocktails that are coming out of our clubs. So we see them and I'm like, wow, how do they do that? How do they make it look so amazing? I'm wondering if there's any possibility that I can help make a cocktail maybe? I think that's a fantastic idea. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, let's go. We're going to make a twist on the bee's knees. We Ooh. call this the cat's pajamas, one of my favorites. What a name, cat's pajamas? Yeah. Yes, I'm down. Okay, what's the first step? Okay, first thing is we're going to take your shaker. Yeah. Let's get that filled with ice halfway. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna use an ounce and a half of the tankery gin. We're gonna do a half ounce of the elderflower liqueur. Ooh. We have our house-made honey syrup. We're gonna throw in a half ounce. Okay. And then some fresh lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah, you're go. also gonna to wanna to give it a healthy dose of the plum bitters over here. How much are you putting in? Yeah, two, three, four. It's my choice. <laughs> Don't go more than four, but okay. what about four? Hard shakes. Just go right in. One, two. Perfect, that's good. That's good? Yeah, okay. you can't ruin it. That stuff's delicious. And we're going to finish okay. it off with a little bit of smoke. So we have your uh, scotch over here. Ooh, I like so just this. take your little blotter. Yeah. And you don't want much. You want about two little drops. That's it. One, two. Yeah. That's good. That's perfect. Alrighty. Now you're going to want to put the lid on. Okay. Just like so. Put it right on and then you give it a little twist just so it doesn't come shaking out of you. And you're going to give it a good heart shake. Okay. Do it for about 10 seconds. That's great. Should be good? Yeah, now like a pro, you want to slap your hand against it. What do I have to do? You're going to do you, this. Can you tell them I'm I'll not a bartender? I'll show you. <laughs> there you go. Now you're ready to take it off? There we go. Okay. 
you want to use your strainer? Yeah. Put it over the top. Like this. Flip Other it. way. Like that. Correct. Like this. You're just gonna go right onto some fresh ice over here. Oh. All the way okay. now. Perfect. Now you just want to do a piece of resistance. A little amaranth cherry. Yeah. You just want to put that right into the drink. Right on, like on top. Put it right down like that. Yeah. Right just like down this. Down like that. Yeah. <gasps> it's cat's pajamas. High you did great. Five. Awesome. Yes. And of course, we can't forget about one of my favorites, wine. So let's head into the Platinum Club. I'm here with Anne Martin, head sommelier and senior beverage manager here at MLSC. Now, Anne, I feel like we've truly saved the best for last because I love a good glass of wine. <laughs> That's great news. I'm glad to hear you say that. On a typical event night, we can sell between three and 400 bottles of wine in all three premium clubs, which is, in a four hour span, a lot of wine. That is definitely a lot of wine. People like their wine. They do. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, are we one of the only arenas that has sommeliers? Yes, we are. We're very lucky to have a team of about 14 sommeliers. On a night like tonight, which is a leaf night, there will be 10 working the floor in all three clubs. Wow. Now before game time, before doors open, is there anything that I can help out with? Well, funnily enough, <laughs> yes. Uh, one of our guests has asked us to pre-decant a bottle of wine, to decant a bottle of wine and have it waiting on the table for them, so let's do that. I've never done that before, so, okay. Tilt the decanter slightly in your left. Pick it up yeah. and tilt it slightly. That's yeah. right. And then I'm going to move this over a little. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, start to pour it into the bottle. Okay. Into Here we go. Decanter. Start to pour the bottle into the decanter. That's it. Good. A little more gently so you don't a get that air clogging. Oh. Is that okay? Lovely. Doing a great job. Oh. Amazing. That like sort of river-like sound, yes. that's what you want to hear. Look at me decanting wine. Beautiful. <gasps> and then just face the label forward. There we go. Beautiful. Congratulations. Did I just decant wine? You did. High Good five. job. Thank you. So next time you're here for a game or an event in the building, keep in mind that you have some incredible in-house drinks to choose from right here inside Scotiabank Arena. Bye.